whenever you get a commission, it's really exciting because you know that someone likes your work and it's encouraging because quite often as a designer maker or on your own in the, working away in your studio day to day, you forget about the outside world and in a way you're doing all the work for you. And it's really nice when someone that you don't know approaches you and praises your work and enough that they actually want to buy it and commission it. I'm always trying to take the beauty of the materials I've already got and just highlight them, whether it's in my chopping boards and I'm just out pulling out elements of the grain to highlight how beautiful the grain in that wood is, or it's making a tapestry and showing these beautiful shapes that each of the branches form, or in the same way that I do outdoors with huge logs, I'm just drawing attention to what's already existing in the environment. So. I never try to overwork materials, but I think that, that runs through everything I do, that how, how can I enhance the beauty of what, is already, what already exists. I'm greatly inspired by light and reflection and reflection of light in imagery and also in real life. So that's an element of, that I wanted to feature within my work quite heavily. So when it came to looking at materials to use within my work, it was always things that were shiny or reflective or actually using electrical components properly like fibre optics and electroluminescent wire um, as a literal sense of working with light. I was really interested in the poetic response that I got from working with mirror and wood outdoors and colliding the two materials and uh, my practice is just built on that on that framework and it's just been through a process of different commissions that have guided new ideas and kind of grown my uh, practice. For example, um, my first commission, which was for a client's house in Cyprus, involved using uh, kiln-dried wood. And as a result of that, uh, with the leftover wood, I started developing a range of natural tableware, um, which wasn't planned. It's just an organic process of um, developing ideas. And um, it's allowed me to branch off into different tangents and work in different areas. I like to make metal and shiny objects that you normally associate with being solid as in a fabric form or a loose, a soft form, um, which gives it that unusual edge. It's encapsulated inside the fabric and the actual structure of the knit to give the, the material a different sense of weight and softness and drape, um, an unexpected result from the way it looks. Sometimes the commissioning process is collaborative. Um, I've had a few very specific projects where um, I've had a very um, quite personal, I've built up quite a personal relationship with the client where I've done a lot of drawings and then they've come back and said, I like that, but can you do this and we talk through what suits them best so they're going to be happy and I'm also happy because I'm making them happy 